For most serious burgers, no life list is complete without what would most consider the most iconic bird of the Florida Everglades, the snail kite. Found throughout the wide open marshes of central Florida and south, this broad-winged bird glides slowly and low over the sawgrass. It has no need for fast flight because it only eats snails, and only one particular sort, the apple snail. This snail is strongly affected by water levels, and drainage of wetlands has hurt populations of both the snail and the kite. The Florida race of this bird, formerly called the Everglades snail kite, is now endangered. With orange beaks, orange feet, and a black tail with white at the base, they can frequently be seen gliding slowly and low over the marsh, dropping to pick up a snail with one foot from the surface of water or plants. Upon successfully capturing their food, they will fly to perch and hold the snail with one foot while extracting the snail from the shell with its long, curved upper mandible of its bill. Under normal conditions, Florida birds live almost entirely on large apple snails. When the snail becomes scarce, as during a drought, the kites may eat many small turtles, rarely eating small snails, rodents, or crabs. Often nesting in loose colonies, in courtship, males fly up with exaggerated deep wing beats and will frequently make repeated short dives near a female. Courtship also includes males feeding snails to females. A nest site is over the water in a shrub or a low tree, sometimes in cattails or sawgrass, usually 3 to 15 feet above the water. Nest building duties are mostly taken on by males and consist of a bulky platform of sticks and twigs lined with weeds and vines. Females will lay up to three eggs, which are white, marked with brown. Males and females share incubation responsibilities, which last 26 to 28 days. Both parents feed the young at first, bringing them snails. After three to six weeks, one parent will usually depart and may find another mate and nest again. The remaining parent cares for the young until they are 9 to 11 weeks old. Fledglings may climb out of the nest at 4 to 5 weeks and can fly well at 6 to 7 weeks. The snail kite is considered an indicator species for the health of the Everglades, and human encroachment combined with changes in seasonal rains and decline in water quality continue to cause populations to wax and wane. Where once large breeding colonies occupied the wetlands of Florida, their dwindling numbers remind us of the fragile balance we as humans must strike if we are to share the water resources that are essential to the survival of all life in Florida and around the